Hey Deadly Discoverers, I am here with uh, Mulga Snake Murray and Murray is one impressive animal. He's a pretty good size. We've just thrown a couple of mice in so I'm hoping he's going to pick up on a scent and come over and demolish these mice. I can see his head is just behind the rock so hopefully he'll head this way. I'm going to try and create a little bit of movement and see if he can link up the smell that he's picking up with his tongue with the movement. So mulga snakes are very commonly known as the king brown snake and that's a little bit deceptive because they're not actually a brown snake, they're part of the black snake family, not the brown snake family and that's really important for anti-venom. Come on Murray, he's just not looking at the moment, he's looking the other way. But his tongue is flicking like crazy. So he's obviously picked up on the scent of that food. So these guys, they can get up to about three meters in length. So they are a beautiful, big, robust snake. They are found, they're pretty widespread throughout Australia. So they're not found where we are down in the southwest of Western Australia, but they are pretty widespread throughout the rest of Australia, found in every single state. They can vary in their coloration. Come on, Murray. Come on, Murray. <laughs> Trying to create some movement. A bit of a dance. He will get here. Here he comes. Come on, Murray. So this is food response has been activated in this snake now and he's frantically trying to find where the food is. It's behind you, buddy. So I'm gonna stay nice and still so he doesn't get distracted by me. And hopefully he just relies on his tongue. Here he goes. You can smell it. Bang! Boom, into it. So he found his mark. Perfect. So he is now pumping venom in. And the mulga snake, their venom is not particularly strong, but they're rated as number 21 in the top most venomous snakes of the world, even though that's all based on research done on mice. It's no indication of what it does to humans. But these guys, what makes them so interesting, it's not because their venom is particularly strong, it's the amount that they pump out each bite. So their yield of venom, they pump out a lot per bite. <laughs> not me, Murray, I'm gonna stay really still. Just your mice. You can see behind his head, little ridges. They're beautiful quadrate muscles. Doing their job. Coming in. Oh, now I'm shaking. Hold on. Coming in. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And just remember, no snake is dangerous if you leave it alone.